Hey friends, it's Dimitri with your Bosch Streetwear. Good morning to everyone. Um, I was driving right now and I was thinking about how sometimes it's it's difficult to be running a full-time business, right? That This is my full-time job because I have to balance the business, juggle inventory, uh, overhead for the business, and on top of all that, I have to provide for myself and my wife and pay all the bills and all that kind of stuff everything that's thrown at me at once right and you know I've been doing that for getting we're getting close to a year now where I've been doing my business full time and it's been a lot of fun and it's been challenging and rewarding but today I wanted to give some advice to anyone that's a little bit younger and in a different position so some of you can be, you're probably 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, probably up to 21. Some of you are still living at home and you are currently trying to start your business. If you're in that position and you're not like paying rent or anything like that, really, really, really capitalize on that right now because you'll be able to get so far ahead at this moment in your life um, rather than later on if you have your brand and you grow into something and the reason why is because you're going to be in a less um, you're going to be in a less uh, stressful position because you're not having to basically take care of as much overhead and stuff like that in life and bills and <clears throat> other things that are thrown at you another thing that might be um, well having a family and a wife and all that is obviously a blessing in life right and those challenges and those steps in life they bring out character in you and they basically will create a stronger person in you but if you are not in that position right now you're not having to uh, focus your time and energy and money on those resources so what you should do right now is harness that energy and put it into your brand or business that you're trying to grow if you're not in that position. I always jokingly tell my wife, like, hey, if if we weren't married right now and I was single, I would literally just be sleeping in the office. I wouldn't even be <laughs> living somewhere else. I would just, like, sleep there, work uh, 12 hours a day, live on, like, such a minimum budget. Um, and, I mean, I would, though, if I wasn't in that position. But some of you might, you know, you're living at home. You, you probably, you might be single. You have a lot of time and energy and resources available to you right now, more than you realize. You know, once once you get away from that, then you'll understand that it's it's sometimes more difficult in some circumstances, right? So don't neglect this rare opportunity and window of time to take advantage of that and to capitalize on it. Um, I have a friend that he's he's my age but he's still he's not married or he doesn't have kids or anything like that and he's like <clears throat> he has a pretty good job he's making like a uh, really good income and I'm like hey you know keep it up and, and unless you get married or something later on you're at, you're at a really good window of opportunity in life where you can really advance forward with your goals and stuff like that so yeah that's just some advice for for any guy that's uh, single, you are living at your parents, your, basically your bills and overhead is very, very low right now. It's not the time to kind of lay back and chill. Right now is the perfect time for you to like go full force and start your brand, start your business, really grow whatever you're trying to do right now. And if you take that advice and you really like head down, work on it, um, be careful how you spend and invest your money. You're going to be on a really good footing uh, for your clothing brand or whatever business that you're trying to do right now. Um, I saw a perfect example of this. There's this guy that I used to follow um, on Instagram. And he he's basically started his brand at his mom's house. And it blew up uh, really, really fast, basically. And I remember I saw pictures like the whole house is basically like flooded with, with packages and clothing and all that kind of stuff 
and that was, I don't know, that was like inspirational to me back then because he took advantage of that situation. Now, I also did that, but to be honest, I did not capitalize as much as I could have in that particular situation. I was single for a period of time, and I did live with my parents. I lived with my parents until I was about 23, and that's when I moved out. Now, moving out, I did, I, that was a very positive experience for me, but like I said, I should have still capitalized better at the moment when I was with my parents looking back at it. I, I should have been more focused and worked harder on my brand. The first year to two years when I started my brand, I did not, I wasn't really in the mindset that I am right now. So I'm basically making up for uh, lost time in a sense because I feel like I'm behind basically. But yeah, um, take advantage of this rare opportunity. You will not regret it. Hope you guys uh, like this message and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.